where I'm going. I don't need roads, <laughs> but I damn sure need a little bit of a crossing here. It's all going outside. I hope you're doing well today. All right, so today's mission, should I be able to actually complete it? Got a little runoff ditch here. Um, trail on the other side that comes down from part of the property and then back that way downhill a little bit is to where we've been working on the well the last couple of videos. What I think I'm gonna do, because I have tried like looking at Lowe's and Home Depot and Tractor Supply and construction companies and Facebook Marketplace, I can't find anybody that will sell me about a five foot, six foot section of culvert pipe. Um, they only want to sell 20 footers or they want me to buy a whole truckload of them or whatever. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of a bush fix. I'm going to haul that old water tank from the well house over here and I'm going to take my trusty old uh, Sawzall and I've got some uh, little metal blades here that uh, wherever they rolled off to, they're back in the back. Um, hopefully they'll be long enough for me to get a start. Um, I have some shorter ones. They weren't quite enough to get a bite in it so I can cut the ends off of it, but I think it's thick enough and sturdy enough that uh, I'll be able to lay it down in this little ditch and it should be just about wide enough to get the old tires of the gator over it. I guess I better measure that. Um, so let me get set up. I will cut the ends off of it and we will plop that down in there and see if we can cross this little creek. All right, step one complete. And uh, oddly enough, <laughs> I didn't have to go through all my blades. Not quite sure what this thing's made out of. I don't know if it's heavy gauge aluminum or what, but whew, it was a little pain to get it started, but we got it. So I'm gonna strap this thing to the back of the gator and tote it over to the creek. All right, so with my redneck engineering and uh, dirtying up some of my toe straps, I picked this thing up with the back of the gator and pulled it over here. It's all full of mud and gunk and everything else. So let's see if this thing can fit where I want it to fit. Get that from under here. Give a couple of good kicks. Let's see. My measurements are good. Again, all I'm really after is a way to get the gator over the little creek. How about that? All right, may not exactly be where I want it, but that's where it's going to sit because I measured it and from that side to that side is a little bit more than six foot. The gator's five foot wide, so uh, we got a bridge. All right, so of course I uh, had to test it out, got the gator over it. It uh, struggled a little bit because this thing was a little bit unstable. So what I'm going to do, uh, find a nice little log to help kind of lay in there and pick up some of the void, but I may or may not remove that because I've got 10 bags of just kind of generic drainage rock. I'm going to spread down around and over this thing and uh, kind of stabilize it a little bit. Uh, found a big old piece of PVC pipe laying around. I thought about maybe kind of cramming some of that down in there too because that won't actually kind of degrade. But it is what it is, kind of a temporary fix until I can figure something out more permanent. So let me start cracking these bags open and see if it helps. All right, so 10 bags of rock, a couple of logs later, we've got uh, what I think is a fairly stable crossing here. It uh, probably needs a couple, three more bags of rock. I think when I estimated this, I was, oh, it'll pay, probably take five. Let me buy 10. Yeah, I probably should have bought 15. So, <laughs> all right, let's load up the gator, go across this thing, make sure it does what it's supposed to. So it wasn't the most elegant crossing because like i said i think it still probably needs a little bit more but uh it's serviceable better than it was the other day without any rock or supporting structure around it what i actually thought about doing is just buying like 10 bags of sacrete and just laying them on there and let them get hard hell i might still do that <laughs> but anyway all right i think we're going to cut it short if you like the content please don't hesitate to reach down hit that little thumbs up yeah, if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. It's still interaction. I'll take it. Um, leave a comment. Hit that old subscribe button. Yada, yada, yada. Next video. Um, I think I might give you a little sneak peek here in just a moment of what the next one is. My brother and I are working on boat access. Hey, looky there. You see the pond. Um, so looking for a trolling motor. We're going to get a battery. I've got a fish finder sonar. I'm going to get a topography type map of how deep it is all around the place. So see if we can catch some fish out of that thing here pretty soon. Until next time. I'm going to go cool off while you go outside. <laughs>